What's up, one and all? Welcome to newcomers. If you're looking for how to get started on Karak Jefferson Online, I'm Hard Time Gaming. I shall provide you with said information. Now, let's see here, get my thoughts straight on straight. Now, if you're anxious now getting started with this game, welcome to a how to get started. I did this for version, uh, what was it, 1.2.17, 2.16? Yeah, it's been a while, so screw it. This is for the latest version, 2.18. Don't mind the extra one because that was a hotfix for optimizations. That's besides the point. At least for my system that I'm using. Maybe just now get started. You'll be pretty much gre greeted with a what's new tab and it'd probably be smart, smart to start, start off a single player so that way they don't look at you like Who's this noob? But anywho, I've seen plenty of them do it, and well, we all know the end results. Per usual, and just so you know, the card does not start off with this kind of color and wheel combination. That's just why I had laid around. But I wanted to make it stuck for the, you know, for representation. But. If you are starting off, you want you'd be looking at the modifications, but I'm pretty sure most of you, if any, you've got different tastes in cars, which is obvious. But you'd be starting off. You'll have first three. You have <clears throat> excuse me. You'll have three free options to use. Obviously, the Hachiroku. <clears throat> Dang. The Panther M590-S and the BZ210. You can start off with either or, those are your first three ones. Do you want the rest of these? Well, it gets more expensive the further down you go. But that's besides the point. And there's also manufacturers, though, if you're smart enough to know what they are and what they represent. Yeah, you know. But feel free to get gouge around on it. But if you don't want to start off with this car, but yet yeah, you don't want to spend the money to make the modification, do the modifications to get into the drifting end or whatever. Besides, you only have two options when you first start. You'll have its stuck modification, stock performance kit, and drift. Drift is where you want to go, especially when I get started here. But if you want to go with a different car, but yet you don't, you know, you know dang well this thing. I'll tell you right now, this this thing, as its current form stock does not do well for deep angle drifting, but it does pretty decent at short course time attack. So you want to get it at least make some quick cash real quick to get a different car you only have like parking A and parking A reverse 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 rotation to deal with so let's get a little like a little bit of quick cash just get a different car but you will be driving on the standard adhesion which is 100 adhesion which is on all cars which is also used in top 32 Top 32 racing event, drift racing events. So, and that's for a multiplayer thing. Make sure you beat that time fast as you can, because the quicker you get this done, the more you get paid. get at least a minute and ten something probably if I'm fast enough yeah, if I'm fast enough stocking the greatest thing on earth with this thing mm, I might get it done in another minute and twenty seconds
escucha. 16,000 16, crits and an engine part loss. A little bit of experience. Tower attacks are not your great XP farms, just so you know, but they are great engine swap farms for your two point for your two liter inline four turbo swaps, which I'll get into later. Now you made a little extra scratch. The cars are not your first like batch of cars, at least. Mm. After the VZ210, the, M the M Panther M5, which is the 2017 model of the old, uh, you know, this buzzard. Then you got the Bimby P30, which is BMW M3 E30, if I'm not mistaken. Then you got the Hachi Go, which is the two door coupe version of Hachi Roku, which is. I don't know how people still get this wrong. It is an AE85 chassis. They're still the same from the back of the door on Ford, but anything from the back of the door on back is totally different when it comes to body panels. But they are exact same chassis, same substantial components, just different back halves. By all stretches, the uh, logics. Then you got the Takahosu, which is a earlier generation Toyota Celica. Or a Celica for us dumb Americans. I don't even know why anymore. Then you got the Toyota Re got the uh, little arena, which is a Toyota Carina in Europe and various other parts of the foreign countries, and a Toyota Corolla in North America and Canada. But you go any farther down, well, you're going priced out real quick. Now, once you've chosen your selective vehicle you wanted to ride in, all these will only have. This game does have a bit of a leveling system. I believe you have to get like level 12 to get the ultimate upgrade, but right now you're gonna want this if you're starting off. Drift modification. You gotta make sure it is equipped when you purchase it, or you won't get it to the uh, workshop. Actually, let me get an example of that. Let me put that right there. Because workshop modification workshop is your performance aspect. The liveries. Which is where I got this, you know, thing, because it doesn't come with the wheels and or, you know, paint job look. It's all livery workshop stuff. Which you can peruse around if you want later, or... I've been having issues with my workshop where the workshop's just, del just deleting shit without my permission and yada yada yada. I mentioned this a long time ago. But I do have a little... Liver I made for myself, but you gotta make sure the car is painted white for it to, you know, painted white with the, uh, kind of brownish hue for that Cavalry Cavalier look on the hood, but other than that, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and pause if you want to catch a code for that later. But right now, as you can tell, Modification Workshop sends you a notification up top. Unavailable for stock and turbo modifications. Like I said, they are untouchables. Stock as well. Stock, you really can't do shit with it. Turbo is just practically a turbo slapped on it, and maybe a turbo tune from the game development itself. Oop, one thing. As you can see, well, you're gonna need at least the, one of the modifications active you intend to do with something you have set for it. Now I should be able to let us into the modification workshop. Now it would be wise to do this. Bring up your filter, which every button you marked for it, just make sure you're looking down and reference to your bottom of your screen for what controller type you're using. Could be Xbox, could be a Thrustmaster controller, could be a PlayStation controller, could be anything. Could be any aftermarket one. I don't know. Like I said, reference. Set the drift profile. If you want your cross platform on or off, that's up to you. But I'll leave it on. There's questionable things here that should not be like, what in the f- I'm gonna shut up before I go in criticism mode. <clears throat> I mean, that might be a do more doable one, but that looks- uh, That's monster trucking, but anywho. The modification workshop has plenty of things around. So you got plenty of options to go with, especially for the starter. 
Which, I don't know why people are trying to try to do the, uh, trying to manipulate people into 90 adhesion. It's a training wheel tire. I get it. But if you dedicate to it, I don't get y'all, seriously. There are some very valuable options, but I'm even going to throw mine out there if I hadn't already. Ah, there we go. You all want the publication code for mine, at least, well, pause and snag it real quick. If you are, if you haven't, no, if you already got that. Actually, I am going to make an example here since I can't use my own. Jesus Christ, I just downloaded that. Now, when you save as a custom modification, you either do this, go, you probably be the only two, obviously, but don't mind these. These are my, my personal works that I ain't gonna bother publishing because, like I said, Workshop likes to delete them unceremoniously. You go here, and you press your right stick, I believe, to install if you're on a controller, and boom, it's up here. Or, you back out, you head to your little mods and swap shop. It should be in customs tab, just past the swaps, which is not available for the racing and or drift, only for ultimate. You go, you go to it and you install it from here also. This is not the case, I don't know how this is going to work. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, for hey, give me a moment. <laughs> no way. It's easy. Visit for the .com for all the I might as well go ahead and turn that down a little bit until it's done. Done through. Y'all won't be able to hear it because, well, audio will be weird. <laughs> but, that's besides the point. If you're ever going to be using Spotify, just be wary. If you got a song playing on loop, y'all only play a certain amount of times, it'll force you to move on. If you ain't got no premium, you'll be played an ad, and uh, yeah, 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 anyhow, ranting. Anywho, now you have your tune set, found, and selected. If you're not adept to those kinds of things, which a lot of people aren't, you have to be a true gearhead just to get into this kind of stuff, like down to the core of it. Ah, huh, here we go. Now these t best scores I've done with my 100 adhesion setup, which is my Shimon Spec 2 now. It should have pretty decent angle, but I'm not sure about this individual's tune. I say it says it's smooth, it's smooth AF, but that has yet to be determined. Next day, you might have to go around and picky choosy and find what you like but mine are usually pretty consistent when it comes to angle I mean big angle okay this ain't half bad for a night he should set up I bet mine on that he should probably do pretty decent as well, but 100% adhesion grip is usually pretty much a standard nowadays, or was, at least when I first started about almost, almost four years ago now. spin this thing up because it's only got like maximum steering angle 53 degrees which is close to pitiful but not as pitiful as the hot rod on its drift modification too which you will probably find out at some point if you do do that now I'm not 
going to get as much as I did originally when I first done when I last done this, but that's besides the point. You all get the idea. But since the score is practically, you know, long past, you just might as well bury it and get the maximum payout. Which is not hard hard to earn cash here, but you also get significantly more, as you can tell at the bottom of the screen. More more cash, more XP, but you also get a 3.0 inline six turbo swell, which is representative of the Toyota 2JC GTE. But the way Carx done that engine is just not good. Because most 2JZs can rev to the goddamn moon and not give a fucking world. But yeah, if you probably at least do like two of these, you'd probably be sitting pretty. That tune was not bad, I'm gonna give that thing gotta get that fella a raid. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. Good for getting started, so I'll probably recommend that to y'all as well, honestly. Do, 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 do. Mm, how would I do that? Oh, actions. But I am not going to stick around for that because I built my own works and I really don't need it. Now this is my 100 adhesion setup. Like I said, maximum is 53 degrees and I think I get at least 62 degrees before I start dancing on the edge of spinning out. Now you made your little bit of scratch, you can do whatever you like with the car. I already got the stock tune on it. But what I mean by stock with two not addicted this means you could just do whatever you, whatever style you like. Mm, I'll leave that off. Mm. Like you got cages, you got everything you can do here. Like there's a lot of things you can do here. Since we're going at that street look, I'm gonna leave the old stock shifter in there. And yes, those are all animated pieces, handbrake and all, shifter included. Now you want to find the wheels I'm using? They're in Japanese classics in the wheels category. And yes, they're all tire designs too. It's just barely visible because I got them, you know, faded out with the, you know. Lettering the recolor uh, that I do in the, work, in the design shop, but uh, that's besides the point. Hmm, look at snazzy now, ain't we? Anywho. You probably could do these a couple more times and probably get away with it, but I am gonna hit it up one more time here. And it's reverse rotation. I don't like usually don't toot my horns, but usually my tunes get pretty respectable numbers as far as I can tell. If some people actually pay attention. But here also I am gonna show you my controller scheme that I use also. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> God dang it. Now graphics you could have it set that wherever you like. Tire smoke is going to be maxed out at, from the beginning, so you're going to get smoked out really. Hell, even the these settings, you're most likely going to get smoked out by a big group of other people drifting in a long-ass train. I've seen 16 people trains before, and it gets pretty messy if there's a few uh, stragglers in there. What the hell? Oh. All I'm hearing, don't mind me. Anywho. I do use manual with clutch, which I will show you here in a bit. But I got my clutch set to my L1, which is probably on Xbox controller or any other, will be to your left bumper. My handbrake on my X, which is I wouldn't believe B on an Xbox controller. Hold up. I had an old Xbox one, like an OG Xbox in here. 
at one point, so I got like an old, uh... Actually, no, I did have a 360 at one point also, but where the fuck did I do with it? Uh... Is this? No, that's no Nintendo Pro Pack. Nah, fuck yeah, I'll worry about it later. <laughs> Anywho, you have to reference your controller where that's at. Put that put that alongside of a uh, image of a PS4 controller or PS5, whichever you prefer. My next camera, I don't use previous. I've used just one or the other. It doesn't really matter. For my next camera, I put it on R1 because you're not really going to be hitting that one anyhow. Restore car, which is practically reset it on the tr on the you know back on the road. This is my. Touchpad, but I believe it's something else for the Xbox controller. I think it's like two select buttons in the middle of some, 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 some goofy thing. My next gear, well, I kind of mimic this off of Drift CE, so. My next gear is a circle. My previous gear is a square. Like I said, reference your controller that you're using. All this is preset. Do not change these. Turn your lights off and on, I got on my left stick. Ignition on my triangle button, which is your to give car power and shut it off. Obviously. Then you have your starter button, which I got on my right stick. And that's pretty much it. Now it's recommended for beginners that you do not that you leave your clutch on Mac. But there will be some cars that behave piss poorly with it. But till you feel comfortable? Using manual with manual clutch, I recommend you use the clutch in non-mac mode. But it is recommended you do use manual gearbox in this game. Because the automatic trans the automatic side of the transmissions are absolute doo-doo. And make sure you have your controller assist on because, well, obvious reasons. It is not recommended to do it out unless you're on a wheel. Which there are obviously options for that. Yeah, that's pretty much my setup anyhow. That's the way my controller is. Still kicking and licking. Nope. Make sure you don't do that. money in this game, especially when it comes to, you know, if you drift these enough to pretty much bury the, you know, the, rec the required scoring to get gold, you just bury it as far as you can without screwing up. If you screw up, you lose that multiplier, which I do not have active right now because I'm just like, well, I'm past the point of not giving a shit about my score. three to four years tuning so this is pretty much me and my high side of deal like I said it doesn't take much to make big money and plus if you want to do swaps which once you get to I believe level 12 in your profile statistics you should be able to gain access to Swap, the ultimate upgrade, which allows engine swaps, which you have, on average, the 2 liter inline 4 turbo, the 3 liter inline 6 turbo, the 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo, the 7 liter V8, and the 6.2 liter V8 supercharged, or V8S for short. 
which I am willing to provide the info there on that also. There are some cards that do it don't have it because some come with their own like special made like seven liters or special made 6.2 liters and so on and so forth. But this car of mine has already got swaps on it. So I am gonna put my street style 2.0 in it. Which the two inline four 2.0 turbo is practically an SR20 DET from Nissan. Some people will catch that right away because well Most SRs don't rev that high, but that's besides the point. Like I said, here's the 2.0 inline 4, the 3.0 inline 6, the 3.8 liter V6 twin turbo, the 7 liter V8, which is the LS, the 5 liter, the LSX, 427 cubic inches, if I'm not mistaken, and the 6.2 liter. V8 supercharge, which I believe is a Hemi, but that is still debatable because there's a few cars that use this particular engine sound in the later and the latter half of things. Well, I really don't use these engines in their big power form, at least not past 600 or past the 560 range. Especially for this tiny little thing, doesn't really need that much power. I mean, look at the weight in kilograms. That's fucking light. <laughs> it is super light. Oh, for f I hate it. I hate Spotify for their stupidity. This has been going on for the last month now. <laughs> Anywho. If you're making enough money to, well, go farther down the list. You probably want to get your hands on the next thing, probably the Phoenix NX already, Nissan 180, or known in America, 240. But I'm a bit more correct on things, and I'm more into genuine, genuine JD games sold on the market than, well, <laughs> you know, the North American and Canadian counterparts. Which there are very few around here, believe it or not. Very few in the States, unless you know where to look. But I imagine they're friggin' plentiful. Friggin' Japan, which I wouldn't doubt they're right there. But that's besides the point. You're pretty much probably gonna be long and gone down deep in the hole of things because the further down you go, the more expensive stuff you get. Body kits, engine swap, engine upgrades, and yada 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 yada. Failing frogging, you want to jump into multiplayer? Don't do this. <laughs> Go into rooms list. I'm probably gonna close this out going to Cami Road if there's anything going on. Oh, there is, there is. Of course. Going into the racing in the dark in the mountainside, Cami Road. The only m true mount mountain mountain road in this game, but it's not really narrow enough to be really, you know tight confined spaces like you would go on a tight ass toge. People know what I'm talking about, you know, you know. But, at least I got rid of all this old stuff. This is an old load screen for this map, at least. There are hardly any barriers left. They removed all those. Or at least mass majority of those. Now there's some places that got like, you know, square bricks in the way. In, I wouldn't say in the way. Not entirely unheard of. I know there's like three of them in the, United, in the states right now. Two in Florida, and I believe one out in the northeastern front somewhere. So if I'm not mistaken. I think there's the two in Florida. There's one for drifting and one for I guess road course racing. I guess you could say. And the other one is like built for drag racing. And that thing runs mid eights, mid eight seconds.
all by, like, different individuals, but, you know. Mm, let's go through the tighter sections. These are sections that nobody go down in here anyways. At least rarely. That's been slightly up late than recently, but not too much. Now, if you want to farm the other more intricate engines that are not easy to get, it's not as easy to get, you have to search through the other places or search it up on your or whatever you're looking at on YouTube. I only got 1462V8 for the 6.2 liter gate S. That's besides the point. Hopefully y'all found this information useful for you getting started. I'm gonna start running my happy ass up the mountain. Y'all have a fantastic day. Remember, nobody you trap the local traffic laws. Don't be that guy cutting people off. Thank you.